Hello and welcome back to the channel for part two of the Pike Peak Grip vs. Drift Challenge or Drift vs. Grip Challenge. If you guys followed the first episode, you guys know I drifted the Z up and well, Pike's Peak 1, Drift Car 0. So here we are staring at the dashboard and the start line here of this challenge on Grip. A bunch of you guys guessed it down in the comments. We are taking the Time Attack Evo here up the mountain here at Pike's Peak. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that's found in the description box below. All right. So like I said, a bunch of you guys did guess it right that we are gonna be doing the Pikes Peak Evo or the Time Attack Evo here on Pikes Peak. So let's uh. Get ourselves in the gear and go full send. We are rocking it in sequential mode. So we do not need our clutch. We're gonna try and not die. And of course we are rocking first person because when you are racing and drifting 90% of the time, first person is the best for you, but I feel like oh, driving, racing in first person is exactly what you guys want to see right now. Just trying not to die. Don't remember really any of the course. This car is pretty quick, but it does take a little bit to spool up. Whoa, a little too happy. So we gotta keep it in the higher revs if possible. Do a little trail braking. Uh, and that's our first off. But not too terrible of an off, so we're okay. That off was could have been a lot worse. We had a few offs with the with the uh, 350 also. You guys do remember I am running on sim damage, so uh, turning rate is not the greatest. Gotta remember I'm on 900 degrees, not a uh, 540 like some of the race cars I run. Try trying to be smooth and fast. I could probably be running this a lot faster, but we're trying to survive. I have not driven this car since I downloaded it back when I got a set of courses in the beginning on PC. There's that turbo, infamous turbo lag of this car. We are at 100% boost, so... Nothing we can do about that. So we have a trail break like that and keep on power. Kind of does help a little bit. Oh, it also gets a little tail happy that way. So we're not doing too terrible right now. Could be doing a lot worse. Look. Clutch kick to get the power up there, maybe? Get those RPMs spooling. A little clutch pop doesn't doesn't hurt. Oh, yeah, there's that another off. And a hard hit into a rock. But look at that rock was there. We beat off the mountain. It did cause too it caused some damage in our front. We seem to be okay. The wheel seems to be still responsive and centered, so seem to be okay with that. I 
should not be dipping tires in the dirt like that in this car. There's that turbo lag. And like I said, I'm trying to do this basically on the seat of my pants. Not really sure what's coming up. I don't have this course memorized. Hit clutch instead of brake. So that's not that's not definitely not something you want to do because that could be in real life the uh, difference between life and death on something in this line. Here at the little uh, split box. So we still got more summit to climb. Hopefully, Pikes Peak doesn't take a second win on me here for today. I'm also trying to remember where I went off in the 350, so I don't do that again. Because how, how would that be going off in a Silver Evo off the cliff? There's our little uh, parachuter hang glider guys just hanging out. Bop of the clutch. Doing a lot smoother and a lot better than I thought we were gonna do. So. My confidence is building a little bit in the car right now. But we know what could happen if I get too cocky done this before very sharp right hander oh, there's a bit of a lockup bit of a lockup into the guardrail that probably would have wrote the car off in real life luckily we're in a set of Corsa Wheel still feels okay. I'll take this a little bit more cautious up here. I'm having definitely some difficulties on these tighter hairpins. The all-wheel drive car and super grippy front with all the downforce. And this is where we went off last time. Nope, that's not where we went off with the Evo. Or the oh my! <clears throat> Nobody saw that, right? We're losing it up here in the ladder section of this. Wheel is still somewhat okay. A little bit off now. We gotta. <laughs> I think I may have damaged my brakes because it is not stopping how it was before. So unfortunately, we got a bit of a brake problem. And this is where we went off with the 350. Not gonna do that again. Rip to the 350 down the valley. Thought that was much tighter than it was, because this is where the tighter turn is. Get a little bit squirrely. Pop it in first. Got a little life flight helicopter, it looks like. Still got plenty of road to go. Cruise that a little bit slower. Pumping the brakes, trying to should brakes stay warm. So they actually slow me down. We are having a little bit of brake issue. I'm unsure if it's brake fade or if it's from the impact, but we are having some brake issues as you can tell. And we're trying to finish this run. Can't let the mountain get me twice. We have to be close to the finish.
feel like we are somewhat very close. Hard on the brakes there. That definitely got way tighter than I thought it was going to. See, I'm okay with going off on little parts like that because there's some runoff of dirt and sand and not a cliffside. If I wouldn't have slowed down for that, we would have been clear off the mountainside. Oh, as I say that, no. I think we can, I think we can still save this. Come on, oh, we managed to feel safe and get back on the road. Our steering wheel is definitely not centered now and it's very loose. I just want to finish this run. I don't want Pikes Peak to claim me again. I could be driving this a lot slower, but I'm trying to be super quick. And that's that. We managed to make it all the way up Pikes Peak in the time it's at Evo and we managed to survive and not horribly die so mountain Pikes Peak won me won that makes two runs up one run failed so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which you found in the description box below if you're not a subscriber please do subscribe to the channel I'll wait and I appreciate all the support. So make sure you guys come back for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see some other cars ripping up Pikes Peak, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.